Hello y'all, this is Terry from Rankin Studios coming to you from Alabama. Before I get started, I'd like to make an announcement. We're having a junk journal retreat, our first time here in the South. Uh, it will be August 5th through the 8th in Scottsboro, Alabama, which is the northern part. We have women coming from California, Michigan, Texas, the surrounding states of Mississippi, Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida, just to name a few. There are only four openings left, so if you're interested, please contact me as soon as possible. You can contact me at Rankin Studios on Etsy. Just leave me a comment. You can leave a comment on YouTube on this channel. Or you can leave a comment on Facebook at Rankin Studios, and that is two separate words. Also, you can private message me, and I can give you the information that way. This is a special, very special journal to me. It's one of the first ones I made using Nick the Booksmith's um, Adventures in Booksmithing course. I spent a lot of time on her and she's got a lot of TLC and it's just time for her to find a forever home but she's really been loved. She is more of a kind of a travel journal. She is a tome which is a hardcover large book. She is made from scratch. The book board um, book cloth, the spine, the ridges, everything from the ground up is handmade. She has uh, acrylic paint and then she's been dry brushed. She has a satin ribbon closure, ridges on her spine, cheesecloth. She's very beautiful. She does have vintage lace, and that was from a repurposed garment. She's stiff. <laughs> it's a new book, so you have to treat them a certain way. And my business card fell down in there. I'm not going to bother with it right now. But this is uh, instructions on how to open a new book and it will help preserve the life of your book, a handmade book. There's my business card. And it opens with a little passport. And it's got some stamps to play with. <clears throat> of course, you can use your own real one if you have it. Or put your the names of the places you've been traveled to. There's a lot of sewing and stamping, um, lots of journal space, tucks, pockets, belly bands, just a lot of fun. In memory, everything seems to happen to music. And that's Tennessee Williams' quote. This is ledger paper. She has four signatures. And she has 102 pages. This is a wallpaper belly band. And what better way to travel than on bicycle, especially in France and Europe. It's what a lot of the college kids do, or school kids do, before they decide to go to college. They take that one last summer hurrah. Or they go there to school. We must always have old memories and young hopes. Here's a collage with sorry ribbon and threads. Here's uh, an image of 
of Jesus when he was younger. Can't remember the title of it. I hate it when I can't remember something. I get on camera and then I lose my memory. <laughs> the tuck spot. This is from a large book I have on architecture. Actually, it was European architecture. Some gorgeous drawings. This is an unusual pocket I took from... Um, a vintage table scarf, I believe it was. Sorry with the fuzzies. <laughs> there go the fuzzies flying. That is one of the natures of sorry ribbon. It is very silky and thready. It sheds. But it's so fine and feels so good. Textures are great. We like our books to have sounds and touches, the texture, feeling. Some paper is music to our ears <laughs> for us paper lovers. Just a little script note, typewriter, a typewriter and a letter. This is a time return and delay report of engine and train employees. This envelope came from New Zealand. It's too good to pass up putting in this book. Because what better place to travel to than New Zealand? A nice travel destination. As is Europe, Rome, France, and all over the states. We have a lot of wonderful places to travel to in this world. And different modes of transportation. This is one of the Tim Holtz found relatives card. A lot of stamping. Tuck. No collage. Little tuck spot there, in the pocket. been in frame. I saw I was out of it there for a minute. It's lovely. Just lovely 
architecture. And what is tra traveling if without chocolate? You go to France, and that's, I think, like the chocolate capital of the world, or the dessert capital of the world. <laughs> it's the city for lovers of food and people. <laughs> Where is your favorite place to travel to? What is your wish, wishful destination? I would love to travel to Rome. Tuck spot and it flips open. This is some old, um, I guess a tractor salvage place, easy pay tire store. And I reinforced that with washi tape. It's pretty fragile. They had some great architectures architects back in those days. It's so massive compared to the people. The scale is amazing. This is a copy of a real piece of ephemera in my collection. I need to start scanning it so I can share them. I decided I'm going to stop stashing stuff back and start using it. That's what I got it for and then I want to hoard it. I think it's more fun using it. Nice little collage there. Stamping. A little side envelope. And there you have it. That is Indigo. She was definitely a labor of love. I should have her listed in my Etsy within the next few weeks. And I thank you for stopping by. And I hope you will like this video and subscribe. I do plan to do a lot more of my Nick the Booksmith classes, uh, the books. I've taken a lot of her courses. I've learned a lot from her. and. Uh, I like her carpet bagger series. I do a lot of those, but I have some hardbacks prepared and ready to do. So I just need to get around to them. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.